Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a custom shirt for Second Life. Now here I have the uh, upper body template which I've downloaded from the Second Life site. Now this file has, a, it's a Photoshop file, it has layers in it, which means that you need to use some sort of uh, graphics program that supports layers. Photoshop obviously works. I'm using GIMP here uh, because it's free and cross-platform and open source and all those good things. So I have the uh, template loaded in here and let me show you what the layers look like. There they are. Now these layers are actually just guidelines that will show you where to draw, and you can turn those on and off uh, as you as as you see fit or as you have a need. So the first thing I want to do here is actually make a new layer to draw in. So I do layer, new layer, and this goes on top of the other layers, so it's sort of on the on the surface here. Okay, now I'm going to paste in an eye logo, which I had in another window and copied, so I edit and paste that. And then I want to move that into position. About right there. And actually I want to maybe scale this a little bit, make it a little larger, I think. Uh, there we go. Stretch that out a little bit and get it lined up again. There we go. Okay, now I want to select everything that isn't isn't the uh, the uh, uh, logo. So first, I need to anchor that down, and then I want to use my magic wand or fuzzy select tool and select everything else in the layer. So as you can see, the line is around the logo there. So everything else in the top layer here is selected, and now I want to paint. I want to make sure to paint every one of these gray areas uh, that I want to be colored in the final product. The black areas don't matter because those won't, won't show up at all in the uh, finished shirt. So you can be a little sloppy with this. You don't have to worry too much about staying inside the lines. Okay, I have some line eye orange color here. I'm going to use a very large brush. And just going to sort of scribble over all that. This is a this is nice because I, I was never very good at coloring inside the lines when I was a kid. So and some would say I'm still not very good at that. And the important thing is that I just get all the gray areas covered. Okay, now down, down here on the sleeves or on the arms, I need to be a little more careful because I don't want the sleeves to cover the, all the arms and hands. So I'll scale the uh, brush down a little bit there. And I want the uh, sleeve, I'll make the edge of the sleeve come down to, to one of these contour lines here. So I kind of need to follow those a little more closely. Again, the black areas don't matter, but the area that's actually on the arm does. And this part kind of, I can just scribble. And the same thing on the other arm. Sort of follow a contour line there. And this part I can just scribble. All right. Uh, now I need to, to just turn off all the other layers. I don't need those in my final product, so I'm just going to hide them all. And now I'm ready to save my image, uh, and I need to save it in a format that supports transparency, such as TGA or PNG. I'm going to save it as TN as a as a TGA file. So I'll do save as, and I'll save it as the line I shirt dot TGA and that's got it in the next video I'll show you how to get that into Second Life